we're not going to be able to find most of the trig functions by hand, we'll have to use our calculator most of the time. I've already made this observation with the sine, the cosine, and the tangent. It's true for the cosecant, cotangent, and secant as well. Let's find the six trig functions evaluated at x equals one half. This is not an angle whose sine, cosine, or tangent we know. Um, the only special angles we know are pi over 3, pi over 6, pi over 4, and the right angles. But our calculator, let me see, let me get that pulled up. Here we are. If we want the sine of one half, um, first of all, let's make sure that we are in radian mode. So remember, if you don't see a degree symbol, you're working in radians. So when I say the sine of one half, I mean the sine of one half of a radian. And if I click mode, we see that we are in radian mode. If I was in a degree mode instead, I'd see this and I'd go down and press the enter button to switch to radians. Then here's the sign of one half. These are pretty much always going to be infinite non-repeating decimals. Let's round them to three decimal places. Here's the cosine of one half. I know you can't see it at the moment, but I'm jotting this into our notes. And there's the tangent of one half. Sine, cosine, and tangent are easy. If you have a semi-advanced calculator like this one. So what you will notice, let me, let me get back to my document camera. So we found the sine, the cosine, and the tangent. This leaves us with three to go. And what I was starting to say was that if you look at our calculator, you'll notice that there isn't a secant, a cosecant, or a cotangent I am getting the strongest sense of deja vu. I think your textbook runs through this material twice. But be that as it may, um, we can use the fact that the secant is one divided by the cosine. So if we want the secant of one half, it's one divided by the cosine 
of one half. What about the cosecant? Well, the cosecant is one divided by the sine. And the cotangent, the cotangent is the cosine over the sine, but for this, it's more convenient to write it as one over the tangent. And we have therefore accomplished our Let's try that again. We have therefore accomplished our stated goal. The sine, cosine, and tangent have dedicated buttons. The secant, cosecant, and cotangent don't. We have to use their definition. We have to write this as 1 over the cosine, 1 over the sine, 1 over the tangent. And then we can use the cosine, sine, and tangent buttons.